So friends, this Aztec Olvis Axe is granted. This here with me is the Acer Predator Helios 300 from 2019, which is currently powered by an Intel i7 9 generation 9750H with 16 GB of single channel RAM and 1660 Ti of Nvidia graphics card. On the hardware side of things, I don't think there is any problem, but on the software side of things, I did a mistake and upgraded my Windows 10 to Windows 11. Now, keep watching this video to find out why the Windows 11 sucks on this particular notebook or like in laptops in general because uh, whatever reviews or whatever the forums i was reading there was like similar issues going on and i have literally made a issues issue list on my ipad counting my ipad now let's come to the hardware side of things uh, when we look at the predator sense this is the built-in software by acer predator to give info about the temps and stuff like that now as you can see my OBS is running for quite some time now that's why the GPU usage is high but the temperature for the GPU looks fine but when it comes to the CPU as you can see the only 10% of CPU usage and it is at 72 degrees Celsius mm, this is kind of happening throughout the day like uh, even if I open some chrome tab it is like 20% of CPU usage my temperatures are like 84 degrees Celsius and the winter is already here you see, my laptop can easily replace a toaster at this point. You want a toaster? No problem, just install Windows 11 on your laptop. It's as simple as that. Now, the performance has also decreased. Here are the benchmarks from Geekbench before and after Windows 10 and after Windows 10. And they are kind of, kind of similar, but uh, of course the Windows 11 are kind of low. Uh, now there is no high usage per se but still the temperatures are high and also the battery life is low and I'm thinking like because of the temperatures are high the battery life is low that is most probably the thing happening and this was the hardware side of things let's come to the software side of things the Windows 11 seems very choppy I mean where some software just don't work out of the box I upgraded to Windows 11 and as a normal user I like to say we use snipping tool right you use snipping tool right because when I open the snipping tool, it just does not work anymore. And as you can see, just 12% of my CPU usage and my temperatures are rocking high. You see this temperatures? This is during winters. And one of the important things that I noticed was when we right click on the taskbar, there is no more task manager. Dude, that was like a very important feature. Like I used to click on the right. Uh, right click on the taskbar and I used to get the task manager all the time in Windows 10 or Windows 7 or any Windows literally and I cannot get that anymore and that is kind of a real bummer now as you can see on the bottom right you can see the three icons Wi-Fi sound and battery the battery no more shows uh, how many hours are left in I am currently plugged in so it won't show but uh, whenever I am not plugged in it won't show either like how many hours are left that is a bummer and even as you can see on the, it shows that the brave browser meeting microsoft teams i don't know my brave browser is even closed my microsoft teams is closed as well but still it shows there is a meeting running in the brave browser i don't know what should i do with windows 11 uh, for example if i want to change my wi-fi now i've connect from wi-fi to mobile hotspot i have to click on the wi-fi button then i have to click on another wi-fi button and then i can change my wi-fi they are literally adding more steps to perform simple tasks I mean, what the hell Microsoft? What the hell? This was really sad. And for example, if you are a user like me who uses ear trumpet to add this multiple sound, you don't really need the normal sound bar that Windows provides. And now you cannot hide that. Thank you, Microsoft. You did so great. You're amazing. Let me just say I'm not really a fan of Windows UI. And let me give you another point. For example, you want to unzip a file. Earlier what you would have done, right click on it and click on extract to this, this location or extract to a particular folder or you easily extracted multiple zip files with into particular different directories on their particular different directories. But now you have to right click on it and click on show more options and then you will get all the options. Now I just want to ask this to Microsoft. Why are you increasing the mouse clicks? I'm already tired of this life, man. And I don't have to go to a computer. I have to cl double click 
on everything that I want to perform a simple task. For example, you want to zip this five images. You selected right click, nothing. Of course, you can compress to a zip, but I want to uh, make it a rar file. So you have to click on show more options and then the rar file options will come. I mean, this should have been from the very start. There was no need for creating this uh, small option menu. Like this was totally useless or make it optional from the settings. I don't really want this. And yeah, the Windows 10 snipping tool did work on Windows 11, but the Windows 11 snipping tool did not work on the Windows 11 machine. <sighs> Great job, Microsoft. Great job. And there are so many faults in Microsoft Windows 11 or more or less those are annoying little things on Microsoft Windows 11. Not really a big fault. But you know what? I'm not going to complain anymore. And what I'm going to do is also, yeah, one more complaint. There was literally no need of creating a Windows button and a search button. Although you can remove that search button from the setting, but that does not make any sense. Like one can just click on the Windows button and type, uh, start typing and it will just search. Or if you click on Windows button, then you click on search, it will change the Windows. There literally was no need for that window change like that half a second time wasting you see there was no need like if one can just click here it should take the cursor there there was no need of doing that but microsoft does things that no one can understand you know what what i'm going to do i'm going to do a recovery option and i'm going to go back to windows 10 and before i go back to windows 10 after upgrading to windows 11 all my default settings were switched back to microsoft one for example my tabs were opening in <laughs> microsoft edge uh, there was another variant of variant of microsoft teams which auto starts and i can't figure it out uh, because i use teams for my college but now there is another teams so basically i have two teams on my laptop now Windows 11 is complicated. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to go back to Windows 10 now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Okay. Yeah. Wait. My devices don't work. Windows 10 seems easier to use. Seems faster. Seems more reliable.